hey guys welcome back so today in this video we're gonna talk about how you can predict trends in forex so this is one of the most important topics and to, in this video we're gonna learn about how you can predict those trends and how you can predict the trend reversals and after that we're gonna also go through how swing or wave patterns are formed and how you can validate those wave patterns or swings and in the end we're gonna go through an example on the charts in order to demonstrate everything to you in a way that you will be able to understand it okay please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can get the upcoming videos updates and also you can visit our website www.forexb.co so without any further ado let's get started so the first thing in predicting any trend is you need to identify if a trend is either bullish or bearish okay so the consecutive formation of higher highs or higher lows in a trend basically means that the trend is going to be bullish okay so here we can see that there's a high and there's low and there again higher high and higher low okay then again higher high and higher low so the formation of these higher highs and higher lows indicates that the trend is going bullish now let me demonstrate how we name the name these points okay so the, here you can see we have high point and here we, you can see we have low point now the next point that happens here is basically higher than the previous high so that's why we will call it higher high and here you can see that this point is basically higher than this low our previous low that's why we're going to call it higher low and moving forward in a similar way you can call this higher low because this is basically at higher level than this higher low so that will be higher low okay and again that also will be our higher high because this is at our this is above the previous higher high so now let me let me explain how you can how these things or waves are made or how and how you can validate them because you don't want to be making higher lows here or here or even your highs at these points so you need to understand how to make a full wave or swing through that you'll be able to understand how you can validate your highs and lows or higher highs or higher lows so here we have a wave drawn let me zoom this out a little bit so in any wave or swing there are basically three wave patterns in one direction and in this case here we have three waves in the bearish trend and then two waves in a bullish trend now these three are basically called the impulsive moves okay and these are caused by big banks and big firms okay these two retracements are basically the reaction of these big moves or impulsive moves that are caused by banks okay so when we draw from here to here we basically get a full swing okay here you can see that this swing if, even if i draw this here let me check this here and here and let me check this here so you can see that we can draw a full swing here now in this swing you can see these are three impulsive moves and two retracements so this is basically how you want your you want to validate your wave or swing so now coming back here as i said the formation of consecutive higher highs or higher lows basically forms a bullish trend and after that when it's near a key level the key level in this case because we are going bullish so our key level can either be our resistance now you can see that the trend got reversed here at our key level so there's a way to validate this okay so the first thing you need to notice is that this formation of this lower low is basically at a lower level than the previous higher low so when we're going here we had our, our higher high and higher low and then again another higher high because this was basically at a higher level than our previous higher high so here what happened is it formed another lower low which was basically at lower level than this previous higher low so this is indication of a trend reversal and we want to look for this pattern near our key level and key level in this case can either be a supply zone or a resistance so this is how you can spot a bullish trend and its trend reversal near a key level okay now let's go to another study that is basically for a bearish trend and its trend reversal 
so in a similar way just like bullish trend the formation of consecutive lower lows and lower highs forms a bearish trend so here you can see we have lower high and then again lower low then again lower high because this is basically at lower level than the previous lower high and again we have a lower lower low which is basically at lower level than the previous lower low so this is basically the indication of a bearish trend and and in a similar way the trend reversal will happen when the higher high forms at a higher level than the previous lower high so here at you can see near the key level the trend got reversed and this formation of higher high at an higher level than the previous lower high is basically the indication of a trend reversal now let's try to understand this through an example on the chart so that you can understand it better so here you can see i am on gbp euro gbp chart and as you can see here that, that there is a formation of consecutive lower highs and lower lows which means that this trend is going bearish right now so here you can spot as i said that in any trend you need to look for or in any wave basically you need to look for impulsive moves and retracements there should be like three waves in impulsive move and two retracements now you don't need to count those you do, you don't need to be looking too deeply in the charts and counting that there should be three wave patterns and then your trend will be valid and then two two retracements but you need only need an idea that you are drawing a valid wave so that you don't get you don't draw the wrong high, lower highs and lower lows okay so here you can see that we can see a pattern here that is in the form of wave and these are basically our impulsive moves till here and these are basically our retracements so these are making sense here and when we go to, to do and when we go deep down and zoom in a little bit we we can see the formation of these waves okay and then these retracements so you don't need to count those but they should be at least making sense okay and in a similar way when we look at it at from a bigger perspective you can spot these lower highs and lower lows and form of wave patterns here and then there are basically retracements okay so this is basically a bearish trend that is going downward and there is a formation of consecutive lower highs and lower lows and this is basically our key level now this key level can either be a demand zone because our trend is reversing from bearish to bullish so this can either be demand zone okay or this can be a good support so here we can see that this this is basically a good support level so when i zoom in a little bit this is our basically key level and our trend is reversing from here because this higher high is forming at a higher level than the lower highs which is basically the indication of trend reversal and in similar way you need to look for these patterns near key levels because these patterns will form thousand times in the charts and they will not be valid all the times so you need to look for these patterns near key levels so that you can make sure that your the thing you're going to trade will actually work out so again you need to look for these levels near key levels and the key level can either be support or resist resistance or supply or demand so for a bullish trend that is going bullish and reversing to bearish you need to look for the basically you need to look for either supply zone or resistance and in case of bearish trend that reverses to bullish after touching the key level you need to basically look for either demand zone or support a very strong support so i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them and you can also visit our website www.forexb.co in order to learn more about price action and forex see you guys in the next video thank you